nice of y'all to finally tune in. Been absent for quite some time indeed. So, one thing I'm going to talk about today is tripods. Tripods are one of the most versatile and most useful tools you can actually make in the wilderness. I'm a huge fan of them. You can hang a pot over a fire with them. You can build shelters with them. You can do a large plethora of things with a good tripod. And heck, tripod is even what's holding the camera up right now. Tripod is a very strong, it's a very stable structure. Now, would you believe one thing you can do with a tripod is to lift something like this log or even larger? given you have the right rope for it. You can use a tripod like a crane. Now this log is about the only thing I'm, I'm going to lift with this crane down here because I only have paracord and it's a nightmare to undo tight knots from paracord. So um, I'll probably do a quick demo of lifting a much larger log with a crane or, you know, a tripod crane that I used to actually lift a 400 or 500 pound wood stove into an outbuilding. Now, tripod is simply just three sticks lashed together at the top. You know, it's a tripod, like what's holding the camera up. Um, they're extremely strong. Now those aren't even, you know, really serious sticks holding it up right now. But it does sink in the mud a little bit because we did have a lot of rain and floods here, as you saw in some of the beginning clips. Alright, so tripod. Log. How are we going to lift that? Well, we're going to use paracord. Of course. Take the tripod. Place it over the point you want to lift. I'm going to show you right quick how to make a knot which you're going to use on this. You're going to use a lever and this rope to lift this log up. Now granted this isn't a very heavy log but I don't want to get my cords in a knot and have to sit here for 20 minutes with pliers trying to undo the knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to make butterfly uh, loops or alpine butterfly knots whichever you want to call them. So, how that works, you're going to take your hand, it's going to come up, over here, around, and then across. Just like that, you're going to make that pattern. I'm going to do that again. You're going to lay it across your hand, it's going to go around your ring finger, your pointer finger, and you want to come back under, below the knuckle on your pinky finger, and then across 
making an X in your hand right there. You're going to have that loop up there binding your three fingers. Okay. You're going to take this loop and you're going to place it right there. You're going to push, pick that X up and you're going to pull the loop through. And pull the loop through. And there you go. That is a butterfly knot. That is the main knot that you really need to know how to use for this particular device. You can use almost any fixed loop knot, but this one is usually really easy to undo after it's been tightened. So, you're going to affix your rope to the tripod, however you want to do it. Don't really matter. I'm just going to do a couple overhand knots here. Like a little granny knot. Or a square knot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's pretty stable. And you're going to want to make two loops in your rope somewhere along this sequence. Preferably, you want one really up high and one really low. The higher and the lower, the higher you can lift. Alright, so we're going to do that. You want your loop to at least be big enough to fit a stick through it. Or you know, a pole about this size or larger. Alright, so that's my high up loop. And then I'm going to come down real low. Do the same right, thing. So now you have two loops, one up here. Well, one up here and one down here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to fix the rope to your target you want to lift. So I'm just going to pretend this is really heavy. I mean, it is kind of heavy because it's waterlogged, but. There we go. Ropes are fixed. Now we just need to cinch it down. What kind of knot you use to do this isn't very important as long as it will hold. I usually like to use a series of quick release knots. Makes it easier makes life a lot easier later on down the road okay that's pretty on there the next thing you're going to need you're going to need another pole about like these I'm going to go get that alright so you got another one a lot longer Look at that. That's an entire log. That is being held right now. You can push it forward a little bit. You can push it, you can pull it back. You have a lot of control over the object. Now, like if this was a cut log from here to here, you'd have even more control over it. If it's a really heavy object, you can actually use this device to move extremely heavy objects a little bit at a time. For instance, if you made this tripod much taller, you could push the object a lot further. You could push it maybe three or four feet at a time. So lift, push, let it drop. Lift, push, let it drop. You can move much heavier objects to your camp this way. Um, there's numerous uses for an object like this, or 
a tool like this. And it's just a really simple tool and I even have found applications for it in my life personally. I use this, a much larger version, using a 2x4 as my lever and I picked up a four or five hundred pound wood stove and placed it inside of an outbuilding. Um, the only help I had was I had somebody help me guide the stove into the building. That's about it. I'm using a two by four and this. I lifted a wood stove. It is a very useful tool and especially if you're alone in the woods, it's things like this that can seriously help you. I'm going to anchor this to the ground and I'm going to give you some close-ups of this whole setup as it stands. Alright? Y'all stay tuned. So that is the power <clears throat> of basic physics that you can use in the wilderness. There's another thing that I'm going to show you called a Spanish windlass. This is a really cool device. I haven't had to use it. In... Actually, yes, I have. I did use it when I was cutting down a few trees <clears throat> at work. And we couldn't get the RTV into the woods to pull on the tree to keep it from falling on the fence. So I used the Spanish windlass to pull the tree in one direction and then I finished cutting it and it fell where we wanted it to. So, Spanish windlass is basically just a way you can make a a crank to pull heavy objects. Um, I've seen where somebody had taken a full tree that they had felled and they were pulling it with a Spanish windlass. Very cool device but I'm going to get some larger rope to show you that so and I'm probably going to make that as a second part of video to help with the uh, upload speeds because god it takes forever to upload alright so I'll see y'all on that one and yeah I'll see y'all on that one alright y'all take care